Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, New Jersey. Welcome to Getting to Know You. With your host, my name is PJ Kimpachi, the Vice President of NJ Act, New Jersey Association Community Theater. Once a month, we're going to be getting together and meet great people along the uh, state of New Jersey, get to know their background, their theater, and maybe down the road, everyone can start talking to each other in case they need help with prop sets or anything that you may be doing. So today, I decided to go with a great group of people that I fell in love with a couple of years ago, and they made it easy for me to talk to them in the first two seconds. We met at the Perry Awards Jigan Orange Juice and nothing else. Uh, <laughs> so here's my friends from Cumberland County. Is it now Rowan College of Community? Cumberland South Community? Jersey. South Jersey. It's not Com- Rowan College of South Jersey. Yeah. Okay. So it's not commu- uh, Cumberland Community College because the last time I talked to you, you guys were in transition. I think. Yes. Yes. Which is kind of weird that I actually haven't seen you in public since then. Um, I actually really got, missed you guys. Um, I miss enjoying shows at your theater because whenever I go there, I feel like I'm home. Uh-huh. Even, though I, even though I never did a show with you guys. The hospitality there, anyone who's watching this, go down and see them once they get back up because it's amazing. Thank, well, thank you. you. We try very hard. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I want to get to know you guys first before we get into um, your theater. Deb, you came to us from New York, correct? I did. I did. I lived in New York for 20 years and performing uh, on Broadway, off Broadway, every dinner theater all over the place. <laughs> and then uh, I decided to go back to school, I went to NYU and got my master's in uh, theater and voila. Came down to South Jersey, took this job at Cumberland, and I've been here 16 years. And you're only 30, so that's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was, and before I got on here, I was ama- uh, telling Deb, I'm not used to her with long hair. And you actually look different, too. I don't know what it is. I know it's the long hair. It, but you look, I, look different, and either way, I love it. So. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I got my partner in crime over there, Linda. Um, she is the behind the scenes with Deb, because Deb directs there. Um, I forgot to say, Deb, uh, Deb is in our Hall of Fame. And Linda Scully is the David P. McMinnehy award winning person. But the awesome, awesomeness she does behind the scenes. Do you want to give us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so I've been, I'm probably the baby of all of us. Uh, I've only been doing theater since 2013. Um, Deb needed a pinch hitter to come in and be a assistant to the director slash company manager. I've never done theater before um, outside of a couple of church productions. And I said, sure, I can do it. And she's like, it's Les Mis. And I said, no problem. And she said, there's like 51 cast members plus all the vendors. Can you handle that? And I went, I like people, so sure. Um, and it was a trial by fire. But um, through through all of it, I have, I'm just kind of pinch hit. So I take notes and I make sure vendors get paid. I have conversations with actors that are sometimes uh, a little <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I've helped with the props. Um, we have a really great collaborative team. So oh. we, we all talk to each other and bounce ideas off of each other. And uh, I'm just really appreciative uh, to have had such a great theater experience. Now we know why. Now everyone knows why, how great you are and deserving you are of that award. Cause you don't Thank get your you. own pal. So one day when I come see a show, I'm gonna stop the show and make you get on stage and get take a bow. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry well, I, also, uh, I also manage the front of house during the shows so um you can people, do it there get to see a lot of me <laughs> and, and she keeps me sane <laughs> yeah I and it's know. funny I, I am the most out in front behind the scenes person there is <laughs> well, how is my friend george 
He's doing really well. Thank you for asking. Um, he was also a Perry nominated uh, actor for um, Play On, I think it was, for uh, Best, yes. Best Male Actor, I think. Mm -hmm. um, he's doing really well. He's um, busy writing. Uh, so, yeah, and we're hoping, uh, hoping to all get back on stage real soon. Tell him I say hi and I miss him. I can't wait to see him soon. I will. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Patrick, welcome. Well, How thank are you. you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Well, I, 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 I guess I haven't been here that long either. Uh, before I'm the technical director here, but um, before me was uh, Chris Toro, and I worked for him doing a few odds and ends, you know, a little painting, a little building. I'm actually a puppeteer, so I came in oh, wow. through a performing event. So I made my own puppets and performed with them too. Uh, mostly like walk around atmosphere type work, casinos and fairs and things like that. And I, you know, get a little extra work, work with Chris. And so he showed me a couple other things, which I kind of knew, but then, you know, he showed me some painting techniques and building and things. And then actually after he left and Deb talked to me about, well, Chris isn't here. Maybe you can build our sets and stuff. So I moved more into that. And now in the last two or three years, I guess I've been the technical director here. So between, you know, building and painting and, uh, and then making whatever we need, different props and stuff, and I guess hiring staff to do different things also. So yeah, yeah, I'm I'm so jealous. I wish I lived so much closer to you guys, but unfortunately, that hour and a half, forty five minutes is kind of drive me crazy. But you know how much I always said I wanted to do a show with you guys. So that's why you guys should come up to Ocean County and direct me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I'll give you guys, I'll hey, give we you might be ready to do it. <laughs> That's true. I'll give you the sure and great adventure mm -hmm. if you give me mm -hmm. one of your shows to be in. <laughs> <laughs> um, how is uh, you guys? How are you guys coming back after all the COVID uh, issues we had for mm -hmm. the past year and some odd months? Slowly. We're coming back slowly. Our, our situation is a little different because being a school and there are a lot of budgetary constraints this year. So they asked me to not do a big show in the fall and to do the spring. So we will be having you know, Clue, which has been on hold for two years, but yeah. we, it will be back March 31st. Um, we'll also have the Fringe Festival set for February, I think think um i have to look at the dates but anyway that will be back as well as scene nights and anything else that comes our way i can't wait for it's that. actually i'm going to interrupt you but it's only uh back in person we've actually been pretty busy throughout the year doing different zoom performances so we've right. been trying not to you know not do anything uh because we as like everyone else we don't know how long this will last or how long it's going to last at this moment so yeah, so we've, we've done a number of performances with Zoom from radio plays to one acts to uh, scenes. Yeah. So. Right. Thank you, Pat. Yeah, we've yeah. done like six productions uh, on Zoom. It was it's, it's such a whole different ball game doing that because I did a monologue night and I was getting all hyped and I'm like, darn it, I can't see the audience. Not that I look at the audience, but I can't feed feel all it. Them. Yes, feel it. I'm like, I wish I loved that everyone did it, and I'm so grateful because I got to express myself. So that's a very sure. big thing, and I'm glad you guys did it. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. Um, like, like you guys, we didn't want to become forgotten about. We decided to do um, the NJ Act I'm talking about, um, online virtual awards this year. Because we don't want to go back to back. We don't want to go in the future 10 years and saying, why was there nothing there on, for 2021? then go back, oh, Corona. And so we want to keep it positive and forget about it and keep going ahead. Right. So, but right. next year, I can't wait to be back in public with you guys. Um, don't know what's going on yet, but we're having something next year. Fingers crossed. Hopefully this uh, virus is gone. So enough about us, because we're talking about you guys and I took away from your time. Um, <clears throat> Is there any past productions that you guys are proud of the most? I know you I know you take a lot of pride in your shows, and it's probably a yes. very hard, hard one to choose. But if you think right. about your past shows, is there anyone that comes to mind first? 
Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure the one in my background <laughs> it is one of my favorites and, uh, for many reasons. Um, Lame is Rob, which uh, I actually won a Perry for uh, direction uh, that year, 2013. Mm -hmm. so. Wow, I knew you guys for eight years. Yeah. That's crazy. And yeah. I, I'm actually really upset I didn't see that show because watching your performance that night, my mouth is still on the ground. <laughs> I don't Thanks. know how I'm still getting it up because. Yeah. Speechless. Yeah. And you never, you never can get me to shut up. For me to be speechless, you did something perfect <laughs> and you uh, made the world happy. Oh, well, I, I felt like I wanted to do the Broadway production, the production that I was a part of for several years. So I had Chris uh, built a 30 foot turntable and we had big moving barricades and it was a great accomplishment for every single person that was involved in that production. Uh, it was a monstrous production. And uh, the, I bet you, well, not bet you, you know, you probably got the audience members to come out every night probably for that show. Oh, absolutely. We sold out every yeah, show. Out. Yeah. <laughs> And that's and your theater is very gorgeous. I always say I love your type of theaters, which is not like over big, but it's right. not small where it's like I'm on top of someone. Right. You guys are the right set for doing that shoes. And I was so jealous. I'm still <laughs> I'm still kicking my butt. Glenda, is there any shows for you? Wow. Well, um this besides Les Mis, which was fantastic. <laughs> um I'm really, it's gonna sound crazy. Um, I really loved um, Play On because it was such, you know, it's not really as well known a play as several others. Um, and it's extremely fun and funny. And so that's one of my favorites. Um, and the ones with the puppets actually. So Little Shop of Horrors, I loved. I, our puppets were fantastic. And um, Avenue Q, which was uh, for for us a little controversial to do, but um, <laughs> but I think we handled it uh, very well and very tastefully. Oh, and I, I don't think, think so I at think, all. I think <laughs> Debbie, Debbie did a really good job of bringing out the heart of that story. Thank you. You know, Thank and and every twenty four year old college student can totally identify with that main character. And, uh, you know, we, we had to we had to kind of, you know, convince the college a little bit and say, this is this is really going to be worth it. And it's really going to speak to our students. And so I'm extremely proud of I mean, I love all of them, but those are my favorite three so far. I would agree with um, the, that as well. And then the music for Avenue Q is so wonderful, but I loved it. And of course, Pat is our master puppeteer. And um, Little Shop of Horrors, one of my favorites. I love the show. Um, that's a show that we took to Disney World to perform. And it, it was just so special for all of us. But I have to throw in Fiddler on the Roof, of course, oh. because that's absolutely one of the most beautiful shows, I think, that, that we've done. And I, I loved it, and every, every minute of it. Pat, anyone, for any show for you? Mm -hmm. It, well, I think it's a, for a few of them. I, I, I would say Lady Miz because that was the first one I really did scenic work for. You know, Chris designed it, but then he said, "Well, do what you want with the paints and figure this out. Here's some ideas." So he was actually very good to kind of like you know give you direction, but not stifle your creativity. You know, uh, but but um, I also think Little Shop of Horror because I was a puppeteer for that, so I really really liked that one. You know, that was enjoyable to be able because most of the time I'm actually you know, in the tech crew or building or something, I suppose I should be a performer, which that's, that's my background coming from there. But the one I'm actually looking forward to is Clue, which hopefully will go on because I'm designing that set. And we've, we're, we're, we're doing a few altercations, I mean, altercations, al alterations, <laughs> maybe not altercations, no, <laughs> al alterations, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm actually looking forward to that one too. So, so maybe we'll see in the spring. Well, there yeah. will be altercations because someone will be dying. That's <laughs> so, true. Several yeah. people. Will be yeah, dying. Don't be, don't be dying. Um, <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Someone dies. <laughs> and there's no Tim Curry. No. no. Unfortunately. 
Um, now, I know you said that you guys, Avenue Q was a little risky for you guys. Is there any shows like risky or not that you dream to do at your theater, but it never came across? You never had to write tools for it or write staff or cast for? Is yeah. there anything that comes to mind, musical or drama? Um, I do I, want you. I think that one of uh, my that I would love to do is ragtime, um, parade, those, and um, Music Man, but Music Man on a monster scale, you know, you yeah. just want to do it all out. So we haven't done that yet. I, I'd really still put a vote in for Spam a lot. Oh yes, yeah, spam. It's all. Oh, you do spam a lot. Spam a lot. I so my cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Love that stuff. Oh man, what about you, Pat? Anything yeah. comes off to mind? No, nothing really comes to mind. I mean, there's a lot of things, but I we seem pretty open. We seem to get a lot of things done here. Imagine just getting a big, you know, show. I mean, I I I like the offbeat ones. You know, like the brain from Planet X and things like that, or like Return the Forbidden Planet. Um, <laughs> things are kind of odd yes. ones like that. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> Six women with brain death or expiring minds want to know. Anybody ever yeah. heard that one? I did that in New York, and My there God. were four people in the audience. God <laughs> <Yeah>. is <laughs> an alien. Oh, man, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. Really yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, no, I, well, I did put a disclaimer before I'm going to say anything, because I don't want to say I'm favoritizing or anything like that. I love Cumberland like I love everyone else. So I'm not favoritizing them, but this is why I, did, I have one show that I want to recommend to them. Since they took the charge of Les Mis and went really great, I can see them doing Titanic. I don't know if you ever did it. No, we haven't done it. I love the music, by the I, way. I love the Absolutely. music. Love it. And I, like... I'm not saying you're going to get your late Mez cast back or anything, but if you can get the talent like that and all, because I know you guys get a lot of talent. That's why I'm very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I don't know why I'm in back of my head. Cause I, if I ever want to see that show, I'm not reviewing it because there's 8,000 characters yeah. coming in and out. But yeah. I'm like, every time I think of it, I think of you guys for some reason. Well, it's a big production. I, I did that at Upper Darby uh, about 10 years ago. I was the proudest master for that. And it's it's huge. It's pretty big. Yeah. Yes. So I don't know, because like, I I guess I knew you guys can, are up for the... I'd be up for the challenge. Challenge. If you can do late news, you can do anything to me, for me. Yeah. Well, so it's, I pretty much feel that way, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we lived through that. Yes, we can. Uh, my favorite night in late news, though, was... Uh, and Pat, you were there, of course. Um, we were on the turntable and then all of a sudden the turntable started moving downstage. And every man with muscles and without was running to push that. that, that oh turntable. man, that is amazing. It was crazy. So, you know, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, Cause I was going to ask you guys, what's the craziest thing you ever saw? Was the funniest thing, oh, like, uh, oh my God moment. I can't. That was an oh my God moment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And I, I directed it with plan A and plan B. Plan A was turntable will work perfectly. Plan B is if it doesn't move, everybody will <laughs> move well. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun uh, watching that get staged for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Where Chris my. is back there kicking the turntable at one point to get it to move. Oh yeah. wow, it was crazy. Yeah. I, I love that stuff when like the audience doesn't know something's happening bad, but yeah. you're going through it. Oh, it's like during yeah. during it, it's not funny, but. No. After it, when you know everyone is okay, and it's like I can't believe that happened. That's well, hilarious. Avenue Q. I was getting text. I was sitting out in the house, and I was getting text. Uh, Don't worry, a wasp got in my sleeve, and I've been stung nine times, but I'm okay. 
<laughs> yeah. And, then, and so and so is throwing up in a bucket backstage. Yeah. So that was um, a fun day. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun thing. Because a couple of years ago, I did How to Succeed. I, I don't really, I don't do musicals until I'm voluntold saying, hey, congratulations, you're now in XYZ. So I was, I got, of course, I'm a guy and they need guys for How to Succeed. And Secretary is not a toy came up that song. I'm talking to I was talking to one of the uh, crew people. The song goes on and I stay back out there, back in the back. My uh, my director goes, oh, my God, you're great. And secretary is not a toy. I'm like, you know why I was great? Because I was not on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> So that's how, that's why I try to stay away from musicals unless I'm voluntold. And I was cursed. With, I was cursed with that show because she came up to me again saying how great I was doing dancing. Brotherhood, the last night came on. The back row has to jump over the first row of guys. Of course, I was the back row. I jumped over. It. The guy thought I was I was cleared it. He tripped me and I broke my leg. Literally. Oh. Mm. So uh, yeah, I'm like. But I still kept doing the show. I'm like, I can't do it until it can't, right. can't go anywhere until the set is striped. <laughs> yes. The show so, must go on. So, oh, show man. Must go on. So that's why I don't do any choreography either. So keep me away from, uh, from uh, uh, musical theater. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to start wrapping this up because I'm getting the cue from my Zoom. Um, you guys say uh, you're doing clue in March of next year. What's the what's the dates? Uh, March 31st through April 3rd. And is it 8 p.m. start time, 3 p.m. Sunday? Yes. I don't know how I remember that by me. Well, that is it. I was like going, mm, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to post it. <laughs> And uh, do you want to give out any content, like an email, just in case if anyone wants to contact you for like, hey, we're doing Clue, you might want something. Do you mind giving out an email for your theater? Great. Sure. Steve Bartley at rcsj.edu. And I want to thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I miss you. And Deb, I know I texted you and Linda many months ago saying we have to do dinner. Once everything's good. And that goes with you now, Pat. I'm joining, making you join in. Right? That's right. Um, Part of the party, man. It'll yeah. be a fun night. So I'll see you in March then, okay? Okay, Sounds great. Thank you. Love you guys. Great. And have Love a great you. day. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.